Hello ladies and we're back with another client tutorial. I'm really starting to like these. But today my client is Chloe. She is very pretty. I love her skin. Let's start off with that. And it's freaking awesome. You know, best skin make your work come out very nice. But um, today we're going to go ahead. I'm just using a um, dark brown pencil on her, on her brows. She says she likes her brows to be dark. So I used a dark brown pencil on her brows. And her brows were pretty easy to do because they already had a shape to it as you've seen. I did the same thing. I put the Sephora um, eye, eyeshadow base on her eyebrows just to keep her eyebrows in place. And then I used the brown um, mascara gel to lay them down. Even though they wasn't really fuzzy, but I still do it because I like the way that it looks. Here I'm taking Fawn and I'm cleaning up her brows. As always, same old, same old motions. Just different for different clients. Certain things I do a little different. But here I'm just cleaning up her brows so you can watch me do that. So next, I'm taking that eyeshadow base again and actually using it what it's for, and it's for her lids. Um, she had a little bit of oil on her lids, which it doesn't matter if you do or not. I still like it. It keeps my cream base that I use in place also. So of course, you guys know I'm going back there. I'm going in with the um, all white NYX base, and I'm just spreading it out evenly. So what I noticed though. Um, was that with this base you have to make sure you spread both eyes out with the even both have even amount of product on it because if one eye has more um, more cream on it than the next eye does then the color will come out a very different pigmentation like it might come out brighter than the other or one might come out ashy looking so um, you can't really tell but I could tell up close um, but now that I I know that I um, need to change, you know, what I do or I need to make sure I apply both to the same eye. But I, of course I set her eyes with um, all white eyeshadow as I do all the time with my, myself. So now I went into my um my palette by Pinky's Co Pinky Cos Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Um, I will have the palette Bright Lights, and I took that lime green shade. I do not know the name of it, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not by the palette, but um, I took that and just shaded it in as used that as my first um, as my base color. Well, I guess you can say transition color, but you already know. <laughs> but yes, I love this green. It's so vibrant. So as you know by the title. This is a spring look, and of course, lime green popped in my head, first shade, and it's very vibrant. Um, the next shade I went to was like a turquoise type of color. It, went be, it, it matched beautifully with the lime green, and I just thought that was the perfect shade to use up under that. Um, and then I think the next color I went ahead and went with was a pink. I don't even remember the shade, but I went in with the pink to go right up under that turquoise color.
so as you can see this is where i fucked up at with the white base i didn't apply i should have made sure both had evenly amount of white base because the pigmentation on one eye isn't that bright as one on the other eye but um now i'm going ahead and taking that same white base and making sure it's distributed evenly and i'm cutting her crease um her lids aren't that big so i can't do a big cut crease or i'll be covering the whole entire um eye but i'm applying just white shadow as the main color for the cut crease just a very easy color instead of you know doing so many other colors to it but as you can see on the other eye once i added that pink that turquoise and pink mixed together came up with a whole different color which gave it that gradient effect that looks so beautiful but um so here on the other eye i went and took pink around the rims which gave it that that really really cute outer rim of pink around the the white and i love that so good like that was so pretty um and then i just went ahead and took the blue um nyx liner which you guys this liner i don't know what it is about this brand i'm about to find some better liners if you guys know a brand that has way better colored liners please link please put them down below in the description in the comment box so i can go check them out because these crack up so bad and they blow me but um yeah so i applied the liner and i can just i just know next time with the eyes i have to make sure they're both evenly distributed like i have a heavy hand so one it might be heavy on one eye it might be heavy not heavy on the other so i have to pay attention to that and you guys pay attention to that too um but then i went right over top of the um blue and did a, another line of liquid liner with um a lavender color same brand and then i took the orange color corrector she didn't need that much her skin was pretty 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 <laughs> pretty pretty by itself but, um i just blended that in the same thing that i do all the time now with chloe i didn't have her correct foundation color with me um i didn't get a chance to go get some so i had to work my magic so with her i used um black opal foundation and the shade hazelnut and then as you can see it's a little oranger than or darker than her neck or her chest area which her face is a little darker than her neck and her chest area but this was way a little too much so to tone it down and to make it blend more with her neck and her chest area i had to over conceal her face her eyes and stuff so i wouldn't really put that much concealer normally but in order for everything to match perfectly i had to over conceal her eyes and everywhere else that i would conceal on her face um i'm talking a little faster than the video but sorry that's because everything is at the top of my head right now but um so once i finished concealing her eyes i actually never do this on my clients unless it's necessary but i went ahead and actually concealed with a contour line would be that way that little line that little area right there wouldn't just be all foundation and once i conceal that area once i conceal the area once i put the the um the shadow there as the contour line it just sets all together so it won't look uneven as the as if the foundation is still orange and still a lot you'll see most of the concealer more than you'll see the um foundation color which it just all puts together evenly is i can i can show you better than i can actually explain it to you guys but um here i'm just blending out her concealer in every space of course i'm using my concealer brush everybody always asks me what do i like better concealer i mean brushes or um or beauty blenders and i've used to use beauty blenders but they come with a lot of mess so i've moved on to brushes which i absolutely love so i would recommend the brushes okay so right here is what i was talking about earlier i put the concealer right where the contour would be once i add the contour to her face i won't add the contour until after the powder that's just the way that i do things um it's just giving me a line there and it's just that um so when i put the line when i put the contour there it looks a little bit more straight 
um, you'll see that I will put the powder right up under the contour to give it that sharp line. Um, that also the powder also tones down the um, foundation also, so it gives it that that light shade that I'm going for for her skin color period. Because remember I told you um, the foundation wasn't her correct color. Um, but it's better shown. I can show it better than explain it. Um, with her contour, nose contour, I didn't really need to add anything harsh. Her tone isn't dark. So I get. I went with the light brown and just contour her nose as I do everyone else's. So... As you can see, this is what I was also talking about earlier. Um, I went ahead and took the black opal powder in the shade Neutral to go clean up right that um, contour line and make it sharper. And for that space to also um, give it that light shade right there that matches more with her um, her actual face tone. <laughs> actual um, skin tone. And I just went ahead and cleaned that up. I left that line there under the contour for a long time. Um, right here, I'm taking the bronzer and I'm just bronzing up her cheeks, um, blending the contour and the um, concealer together. Under her eyes, I decided to go with just the white. Um, I was going to do a color, but I I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do a little different, so I went with the white since it matched with the, um, the cut crease. And then I'm just going ahead and ma putting mascara on her bottom lashes. And I decided to... Um, take a uh, go ahead and wipe the dust off and as you can see the you can see the contour line and how everything just blends together evenly um i went ahead and took my regular um blush that i always use um in the shade red and then i just went ahead and put in her crease area her tear duct area the say hello highlighter as i put on her um on her cheekbones on both sides y'all that highlighter is popping y'all if y'all don't know y'all need to go ahead and get y'all some like seriously like i'm gonna go ahead and put the link down the bottom so y'all can go to their website and get y'all some but um right here i just put on um kiss lashes i believe that's juicy i think i did juicy um that's the name of the lash if you guys wanted to know but i just used juicy in her eyes and then the lip color I want to say it's like a, a, a berry shade in um, Ruby Kisses brand. I forgot the name. It's like a berry shade. And then I went over it with another lipstick that I forgot the color name of. But it's um, the color of it is butter or something like that. Um, just in the middle. I wanted to lighten it up a little bit. Like why you so fly? I don't know. Like why you so hot? I don't know. Like why them niggas stand at you so hard every time you ride by? I don't know. Like why you so thug? I don't know. Why you for that nigga girl? I don't know. Why you smoke all that dope? Why you kill all them shows? Everybody wanna know. Everybody wanna know how you do that. How you do that? 